Jessie V. So today I have yet another random video because that is what I'm known for. I'll do story times and then in between I'll have like a super random video. And some people get so mad at me when I do stuff like this because they only want to see story times. And the thing is I need videos in between those story times, you know, because I want to post like five videos a week. If I only did story times, I'd only post like two or three times, but I want to post all the time. So I need videos like this every once in a while. So the other day I was about to make my favorite dessert ever. Like I have this one dessert that I make that I absolutely love. If I could only have one dessert for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And I thought, why not film myself making my favorite dessert to show you guys? It's nothing extremely difficult to make. It's actually pretty easy, but I thought I'd just show you guys for fun anyways, because I like to include you guys in all my life. So every once in a while, maybe I'll make one of these to show you what I like, to show you my favorite things. And this is my favorite dessert, so here you go. I feel like I'm like pro with voiceovers now, guys. Okay, let's start with the ingredients that you'll need for this dessert. The first thing you'll need is two pieces of pizza dough. You can even use pita bread if you want to, just as long as it's flat and it looks like a pizza. This is our crust, guys. Then you're gonna need some cookies. I use shortbread cookies, but it honestly doesn't matter if you wanna use Oreos, if you wanna use chocolate chip cookies, whatever type of cookies that you like, just use those ones. Then you're gonna need some brown sugar. I like to put my ingredients in pretty little bowls because I'm fancy like that. Next, you will need some M&Ms. I pretty much like to use these for everything. And these are the mini ones. Then you're gonna need some cinnamon. This is a very, very old cinnamon bottle, but it still tasted fine. And then you're gonna need some icing and it really doesn't matter which color. I just chose pink for some reason, even though I really don't like pink that much. And lastly, you'll need the best thing in the world, which is Nutella. This stuff is literally heaven in a jar. And then you're gonna take a knife and you're gonna start spreading your Nutella all over your first pizza crust. This takes a bit of time and it really doesn't have to be perfect at all. As long as you just cover your entire pizza dough with Nutella, you're totally fine. Oh, and I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but make sure that your dough is pre-baked. So then you're gonna take your brown sugar and you're gonna start lightly sprinkling it over your Nutella. You don't wanna put too, too much, but definitely put a little bit on there. Just sprinkle it around like fairy dust, guys. And then you're gonna take your cinnamon and you're gonna do the same thing and it really depends on how much cinnamon you wanna put. I don't put too much because I don't like a really extreme cinnamon flavor, but it's really up to what you like. And then when you're done that, you're gonna take your second piece of pizza dough and you're gonna put it right on top of your first layer. So make sure the Nutella is in the very center. This is why I also call this chocolate pizza cake because it looks like layers of cake right now. And then you're gonna do the very same thing to your top layer. You're gonna start spreading around your Nutella and when you're done that, you're gonna put your cinnamon and your brown sugar. to the cookie part. You're gonna take your cookies and you're gonna crush them up into crumbs. Because mine are shortbread cookies, they're very easy to crumble. But if you have a harder cookie, just put it into a plastic bag, take a rolling pin and just roll over the bag and it'll turn into crumbs as well. you're gonna start sprinkling your yummy cookie dust all over that pizza. Look at this guys, I am a real chef, okay? And then you're gonna set your oven to 350 and you're just gonna put your pizza right in there. Because the oven is very hot, you're only gonna need it in there for about 15 minutes. So not very long at all. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. I really love how crispy the crust is. It just makes it taste so much better. And this is my favorite part, guys. This is where we get to put the M&Ms on top of the pizza cake. And it's so nice because the pizza's hot and they start to melt a little bit. Mmm, I love chocolate. And this is the 
trickiest part of this whole entire dessert, you're gonna start to put your icing right around the sides of the pizza. So you're just gonna make a giant circle. But my hands are so shaky and I can never do this part perfectly, so I would take your time on this one. Yeah, it's a little messy, but I think it still looks pretty. This is like perfect for like birthday parties and stuff because it just works as a cake and as a pizza. A chocolate pizza, of course. And this is what it looks like after I've cut it into pizza slices. It's a pretty messy dessert, so you will get your hands really chocolatey, but trust me, it is so worth it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you guys decide to make this, please tag me in a photo on Twitter or Instagram so I can see your creation. And feel free to put your own spin on it. It is amazing, it tastes so good. Like so good. We should name this dessert something. Like I know it's a chocolate pizza, but maybe there's a name for it. The V Team Chocolate Pizza? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but this could be like our dessert. I know it's not super original, but it's super good. Anyways though guys, as usual my social media information is below, along with my vlog channel and my PO Box information, so check that out. And until next time guys, bye!